So let's open the 05 buttons that HTML file and I'm going to open again learning bootstrap 05 buttons. And you can see that we have buttons and we have service one, two, three, and four. We have some text and we have these links right here at the bottom. So if I scroll here, you can see that I'm using the main and I'm using the container, the rob and the calls. And here we have the H3, we have the text and we have an anchor that at the moment is using the pound sign so you can click here nothing is gonna change but we're gonna we're gonna add some classes to display the buttons so the way that you display buttons in bootstrap is really easy you add a class then you add btn btn is the class that will add the styling to make this look like a button so save this and reload and you can see that nothing is changed you can see that it only adds some space right here but the output is is the same but it, it also removes the the hover the the underline when i hover but for example you have to add another class and i'm gonna add btm primary so save this and reload and now you can see that this one looks like a button there are several different buttons that you can choose from that you can apply so for example another one is called the secondary secondary and reload now you can see we have a white button there is another one called success this one is green maybe the success color this green and we have another one called info now you can see that this one is blue there is another one called warning you can see this one is yellow we have a danger button danger and you can see that this is the color uh, like a red and we have finally link so save this and reload now you can see that this one looks like the other links it only adds this space but it doesn't add any special styling so for example here we have some anchors you can also add a button type button and the value maybe is something like submit and save this and the button requires the closing button tag so you can see we have this button and i'm going to add submit so we have something like this you can also apply buttons for this button tag and for example i'm going to add class btn btn success something like that save this and reload and now you can see that the styling is something like this so you can apply this btn and btn success to for example also an input type submit value send and close the submit so reload you can see we have the send right here and you can add also btn btn danger something like that and the result is going to be the same so you can style any element that you want anchor button or submit the result is going to be the same that's something really cool about bootstrap it's really consistent between different elements so I'm going to remove these and I'm going to show you some other types of elements that you can style. And I'm going to change this to BTN primary so we can play with this. And you can see that, for example, if I add BTN outline and I add something like primary reload, you can see that I have a button like this one. It doesn't have a a background color doesn't have a field content it only adds the border and it's using the same color and you can change this to secondary and the colors that i saw you that i show you in the in just a little something like danger or something like that so this will be something really helpful for some special projects so finally i'm going to show you how to create a bigger button maybe you want a bigger button you can create this using css but for example you can add something like btn lg so reload and i can see that the button is a little bigger you can add btn sm for a smaller button so it's up to you depending on your project and there is another one really really big that is called btn block btn block will make the button take all the content that is available we're going to be using this in our project so that's something really cool i have to say that you only apply classes and you can see something like this that's something really cool about bootstrap 
so this is it for the buttons maybe we can add something maybe uh, maybe copy this and paste in all the other anchors to make them look like a button so save this and reload now we can see we have something like this so we have our services and someone can read about more more about them so this is it for the buttons in the next video i'm going to show you how to use the card component that's something really cool that comes in booster 4